time of celebration, as I said this morning. And uh, I tell you about every one of you has been on my uh, message tonight. And uh, I, I hope that I can put this together. I tell you, it's uh, kind of been kind of a mixed up thing for me. I mean, the Lord was laying at me and I thought, man, how's this going to work? Uh, but anyway, we'll be obedient and do our best. And you pray real hard for me as I try to put this message together tonight. Uh, as Zach said, I've, I've, uh, he said he'd never sung that song before. I've never preached this message. And I ain't never preached one exactly the same. But uh, those that I've preached more than once... Ricky was talking about we're a name and we are a name. Yes, we are. Uh, somebody in one of the other countries, uh, one time they, uh, I read, they went up to this uh, shepherd of this sheep, uh, this flock of sheep, and uh, they was trying to determine something that, that had been, Jesus said, my sheep know my voice, yes. and a stranger they'll not follow. Yes. Somebody said that a sheep uh, followed the shepherd because of his dress. And uh, that it, it didn't matter who would put the garment on. Said a sheep will get and a shepherd will not change. Once they begin being a shepherd to a flock, they'll wear the same garment at all times, day after day after day, at least the same collar. So this gentleman asked the shepherd if he could put on his garment, if he would exchange garments for it with him. And so he did. He put that garment on. He went out and began to try to lead that flock. And guess what? Had a mess. He had a mess. He was wearing, he was about the same size. He was wearing the garment of the real shepherd. But he wasn't a real shepherd. He began to call out and call them out by name. And they didn't heed to it. Why? Because they didn't know his voice. Didn't know his voice. And I'm glad for him. Revelation chapter 22. John was getting ready to seal the book. John was getting ready to close the book out. And uh, Jesus had briefly spoke to John when he had called him. And uh, he had briefly spoke to him in chapter 1. Chapter 2 and chapter 3 is uh, all Jesus is speaking there in the book of Revelation. Jesus spoke again briefly in chapter 4. And he instructed Paul what to write, Zach. And uh, he, taught, he was through. Thereafter he had spoke to John in chapter 4. Jesus was through. But John, beginning to close the book out, decided that he Whoa. would say, Lee, he would say, John, hold on just a minute. I've got one more thing to say. And he ministered to the church there in chapter 22. John said, He showed me a pure river of water of life, clear as crystal, proceeding out of the throne of God and of the Lamb. And in the midst of the street of it, and on either side of the river, was there the tree of life, which bare twelve manner of fruits and yielded her fruit every month and the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations and there shall be no more curse but the throne of God and of the Lamb shall be in it and his servants shall serve him they shall see his face and his name shall be in their foreheads there shall be no night there and they they need no candle, neither light of the sun, for the Lord God giveth them light. They shall reign forever and ever. He said unto me, These sayings are faithful and true, and the Lord God of the holy prophets sent his angel to show unto his servants the things which must shortly be done. Jesus speaking, he said, Behold, listen, John was speaking there, and he was talking and getting ready to close the book, Zach. He was giving the last instructions to the church. And all of a sudden, I can see it as I thought about this this afternoon. All of a sudden, Jesus 
thought maybe that he was through speaking to the church and to all of his people. I want to add one more thing. And Jesus spoke and said, Behold, I come quickly. Blessed is he that keepeth the sayings of the prophecy of this book. Now John saw these things and heard them, and when I heard, heard and seen, I fell down to worship before the feet of the angel which showed me these things. Then saith he unto me, See thou, do it not, for I am thy fellow servant, and of thy brethren the prophets. And all them which keep the sayings of this book worship God. And he saith unto me, Seal not the sayings of the prophecy of this book, for the time is at hand, and, and that is unjust. Let he that is unjust, let him be unjust still. He which is filthy, let him be filthy still. He that is righteous, let him be righteous still. He that is holy, let him be holy still. What did he say there? I'm, I've got to stop here for just a minute. Boy, I tell you what, the last altar call is given. You know what I'm saying? That's the only place in the Bible that you'll find where he said, let he that is unjust be unjust still. And he that is in filthy, that is filthy, let him be filthy still. Folks say that they're going to wait. Folks say that they're going to serve God in their own time. Boy, I tell you what, there's a time when the last altar call is going to be given. The last plea is going to be given. And I'm telling you what, it's going home time. That's the way I read the Bible. And Jesus speaking again said, Behold, I come quickly. My reward is with me to give to every man according as his work shall be. I am Alpha, Omega, the beginning and the end. The first and the last. Blessed are they that do his commandments that they may have right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates into the city. Now hold that and I'll return there possibly in a little bit and finish that chapter. But I want you to turn over to Matthew chapter 27 and I want to read there. As I said, it's a time of celebration. I, it was a time, listen, that our salvation was made complete. Revelation couldn't have been revelation had Jesus not done the work that he was sent forth to do. I need your prayer. Verse 62 of chapter 27. Now the next day that followed the day of the preparation, the chief priests and the Pharisees came together under Pilate, saying, Sir, we remember that that, that, that that deceiver said while he was yet alive, talking about Jesus, after three days I will rise again. Command therefore that the sepulcher be made sure until the third day, lest his disciples come by night, stealing away and saying to the people, He is risen from the dead. So the last arrow shall be error shall be worse than the first. Pilate said unto them, Ye have a watch, go your way. Make it as sure as you... Oh, bless the Lord. Glad you got that. He said, Make it as sure as you can. So they went and made the sepulcher sure, sealing the stone and setting a watch. Yes, sir. Read. Now, they were in a celebration time right here, right before all this took place. It was a time of the feast of the Passover, yes. a yearly separation, a, a, a year, yearly celebration for the Jews. Now, what was they celebrating? They were celebrating more than I tell you what, what Zach Redemption. Yes, sir. Lord. There was a time many years ago. I felt like today as I begin to seek God what I should preach. Sometimes we get caught up. Boy, I tell you what, thinking that everybody knows the story and everybody knows what happened. But you wouldn't believe the people that don't understand and the people that don't know. And we need to remind ourselves quite often they got together in a time for a time 
of celebration yearly that folks would look back and remember how that the hand of God protected his children. Yes, sir. It was a time of redemption. They celebrated the time that Moses told all the children of Israel, listen, the death angel's going to come by. He said, I want you to pick out a lamb of sacrifice, one without blemish, one without spot, one that is pure. Listen, I want you to dress it. And we know the instructions. But he said, oh, there's an important part when we eat and when Jesus set his disciples down at the Last Supper and he began to talk to them and tell them, he said, listen, I want you, listen, we've done this in remembrance of then, but when you do it again, yeah. do it in remembrance of me. Oh. The Bible said that Jesus took bread and he passed it around the table. He said, when you eat this unleavened bread, from here on out, remember that my, it was my body, a lamb without blemish, and a lamb without spot. He said, oh, but when you drink, remember the blood. Yes, sir. That's the important part. This day that we're celebrating, this day that we're celebrating, at this time that we're remembering the past. But I tell you what, it's going to get better. James, John, yes sir, Peter, Judas, it's going to get better. We look forward, we look forward for years, Melissa, at the peace of the Passover. Oh, but something greater. Every year they put out a cup for Elijah. Yeah, they would. In remembrance of Elijah, they put that cup out. Just in case they, the Messiah came. Come on, buddy. Yeah. Help me out here. The bread, but, the bread was called the bread of affliction. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, he said, now listen to me. We've celebrated. We've set out the cup and said every year we partook of the bread, the bread of affliction. And we remembered, oh, but boys, listen, there's something getting ready to happen. I've been working for this, and I've been celebrating for this, and God knows all my that. What's going to go on? He said, but listen, as Moses was instructed by my father that the blood must be applied to the doorpost and to the lid oil. Oh. Listen, I want you to remember when you drink, man, it represents my blood oh. that's going to be shed oh. for mankind. Oh. Oh. That's what the Passover was all about. Come on, Richard. Jesus said, told his disciples as he was there, he said, this is the last time that I'll eat with you in the, on earth. He said, but anyway, he, he began to instruct them and he began to give them as John was instructed there on the Isle of Patmos. He, Jesus, began to instruct his disciples but anyway, as they sat there and Jesus knew that there was something going to take place, everything, listen, it was following two different directions. It was following life, listen, as the Passover represented that God Almighty took care of His own and give them life. Jesus was trying to get them to comprehend and they couldn't comprehend. He was trying to explain one more time, death and life. Blessed be the name of the Lord. The life back in the days of Moses come to him by the blood. And he was trying to instruct them and get ready to teach them and trying to teach them that the only way that they could live and you and I could live was through the shed blood of Jesus Christ that has been applied to our hearts and lives. Hey. You guys feel like cutting in. You cut in. Praise the Lord and help me out here. But anyway, Jesus had sat there with his disciples and he was down as I was talking this morning. Judas betrayed him and sold him out for 30 pieces of silver. Came in and they took Jesus away. 
And there was a great multitude of soldiers come and Jesus looked at them. He said, you've been around me before and said, you've witnessed me. Never before did you come. But they came with a band of soldiers that they might take Jesus by force. And there was no fight given yet. But listen to me, they led Jesus away, took him before Pilate, being the governor there. And who did they take him to? After Pilate, listen to me, because Pilate was trying, this is something that I let out, uh, left out this morning, Pilate was trying to get him off of his hand, oh. off of his heart. But he came back to Pilate the second time. And Pilate, listen, Pilate tried him and examined him again. And before the people, he came with the same, same answer. Said, I find no fault in him. I can't find anything that, that he's done that is worthy of death. Oh, oh blessed be the name Lord. Y'all help me, church. But anyway, the Bible said that after Pilate had released him, or before he had released him unto the people, and asked the people for their boys against Jesus Christ, he began to ask them. He said, there is by tradition that someone has got to be released. Did you ever get this before? The Bible said that the crowd began to cry, Barabbas, give us Barabbas. What was Barabbas? We always hear people telling that Barabbas was a murderer. But before the Bible said, called Barabbas a murderer, listen, the Bible also said he was a man of sedition. You know what sedition is? That's a rebel. Listen to me. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. That's a rebel in back then, that days. A rebel. Listen, a man of sedition ruled, rebelled against the government. Boss, nobody liked him. He murdered and he was a rebel against the laws of the land. Yeah. Amen. Amen. The people, the people said, give us Barabbas. My brother John Cole one time preached a message here. And man, every year I think about it, he got to talk, he got to preaching on Barabbas. And boy, I tell you what, every year and throughout the year I get to thinking about Barabbas. Boy, I tell you what, Barabbas was what? He was the first one that Jesus took his place. Yes, sir. Me. Hallelujah forevermore. Won't he shout in glory? I can remember and I can think and I can look back as Brother John said. Barabbas was there and in those days they had no panes of glass in the windows and the doors was open and the weather was warm at that time. Barabbas was about ready to die. His time had come. He had been found signed, sealed, and delivered. He was found guilty. Knew that he was going to die. But I can see now as he was down in that jailhouse that was he was all ears and he was all eyes. He was down in that jailhouse and he tried to look. I can see now. He looked down the road to hear the crowd, yeah, Barabbas, 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 and listen to me, he knew that it was time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All of a sudden, he heard the sound of people's feet, a great multitude of weeping and wailing, but there was also a crowd, there was people rejoicing, that listen, Jesus was going to be put to death and Barabbas was going to be set free. But old Barabbas knew that he was guilty, yeah. proven that he was guilty. Right. Yeah. And as he sat there, as he stood there, sat there in that prison cell, and he heard him coming, he was, I, 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 Brother John said, he could just see himself hanging on the cross of Calvary. He could see himself and he could imagine 
trying to imagine what it was going to be like. Oh, listen, and I don't care if Barabbas was human. I've had people to tell me that they didn't care about their self. They didn't fear eternity. But boys, every one of them that I know of that died began to cry out to God. Lord. Yes, sir. And God had mercy. But anyway, I can say Barabbas was real repenting of that day. Lord. Oh, I wish I'd have done things different. I wish I hadn't been a rebel. I wish I hadn't been a murderer. But it's over and I've got to pay the price. Oh, did he know that the Messiah was coming down oh. and taking his oh. Amen. 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 Brother John said, the old soldiers come up and got their keys out and unlocked the jail cell door. And old Barabbas was knees were shocking. And uh, I'd say old Barabbas Zach doesn't give up the fight. Sure did. Maybe before they unlocked that door uh, to let Barabbas uh, have his food or his water or whatever, and Barabbas trying to find him and escape. But this day, he knew it was over. I believe the fight was going out. Of I can see his brother John preached that day. He said that that jailer, he was expecting the, the soldiers to come in and take him by force. That jailer just opened the door. Yeah, he said, come on, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Barabbas couldn't hardly understand that. He said, what do you mean, come on? He said, ain't you going to shackle me before you? You take me out, aren't you going to tie me up Do I, while I make my journey at the Golgotha? Oh, listen to me. You telling me that Barabbas was going to be hung in the same place that Jesus was? He sure was. They already had three thousands, two thieves, and a murderer that was going to die. Right, standing there, out like that. And that soldier said, there ain't no need of them. Right, what are you talking about? You ain't going to shackle me? You ain't going to tie my hands? No, Mr. Barabbas, whatever his last name was, don't really matter. He didn't care. You're a free man. Lord, don't you mess with me. I know my mind's been playing tricks on me. And I know, listen, uh, that I've acted crazy. Uh, and I've acted beside myself. Uh, and you've heard me in myself. A moaning and a crying. He said, but I ain't crazy. And therefore, I know that I ain't free. Oh, but that soldier said, uh, you don't understand. Uh, there's a man that's going to take your place. Uh, blessed be the name of the Lord. Listen, the crowd chose you. You remember when the people cried out and Pilate said, I find no fault. And the people said, let his blood be on us. And our children, little did they know, Zach, what they were saying. Lord. But the blood of Jesus Christ, God's Son, cleanses us all Lord. from all guiltiness of you. Right. Praise the Lord. But the rat come out there. Yes. And I wasn't planning on staying here long, but anyways, I'll go ahead and finish. Jesus took Barabbas' place. But anyway, when Jesus went to the cross of Calvary, and as we was talking this morning, we'll say, and boys, I'll tell you what, the Bible teaches us if any man take his stand, let him take heed. Lest he fall. Lord, I tell you what, I couldn't make it 10 minutes without Jesus. I'd fall flat on my face. But anyway, his disciples was there. And uh, he had begun, as I told you a few minutes ago, had instructed them and told them what to do. And the Bible said after he was went out into the garden of Gethsemane and began to pray, he took his disciples out. He told them, he said, I want you to stay here and tarry while I go yonder and pray. 
And the Bible said he went out about as far as the stones cast yeah. and said he knelt down and prayed. Said he turned and he went back to his disciples and he found them asleep and he went back to pray again. And the Bible said as he prayed, listen to me, folks said Jesus never did get weary. He oh. sure did. Oh. Why did he get weary? Sure he was a son of God. Sure he was a chosen one of God. Oh. But he was put in the flesh. Yes, sir. He. Yeah. Why was he put in the flesh? To bear, listen, bear the pain and the suffering. <laughs> that he would know what it was like for us. Yes, sir. So that he could make a way for us. But anyways, he asked, he prayed to the Father and the Bible said his sweat became as great drops of blood. I know all this preacher. Boy, I tell you what, if we knew this like we should, we ought to shout 364 oh. days. Oh. Praise the Lord forever. Why? Because it was sued by the death, burial, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ that we've got life to. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. But Jesus, when he returned to his disciples and found them asleep again, he said, Sleep on. As he made his journey, the Bible said they put him on the cross of Calvary. The Bible said that they was there. He amidst the two thieves was on the cross. And said, we all know what happened there. They began to ridicule him, but one came to his senses. But the Bible said when Jesus, after he endured and went through all of this, the Bible said that Jesus said that it is finished and he gave up the ghost. And all of a sudden, listen, the boys, heaven couldn't stand still. I thought about this, and we talked, you was talking about the earthquake, Zach. I thought about this the afternoon. I said, man, what in the world happened to cause an earthquake that would come upon the whole face of the earth, and the veil of the temple was rent, and the graves burst open. The Bible said, listen now, I want to get it. Somebody said everybody that was in the graves came forth. No, the Bible don't say that. And the Bible said the saints, yes sir, yes, that yes, was in the grave, Lord, came Lord. forth and was made themselves known throughout the city Lord. after the resurrection of Christ. Well, preacher, what happened and what caused the resurrection? I believe when Jesus endured the cross, Lord. listen, and performed the work that God Lord. Almighty Lord. had called him to do. Lord, I believe with all of my heart when Jesus Jesus said it is finished and he gave up the ghost. I believe God Almighty, you can believe what you want to and you can imagine what you want. But this was a thought that came out of my mind. God Almighty was sitting upon his throne in glory, taking it all in, looking down, and he was giving his son the strength to endure the cross of Calvary. Lord, I tell you what. God has to be a lot like us. Why? Because He loved us. Yeah. The Bible said that He made us in His likeness yeah. and His image. Oh. Ronnie, I believe He was so yeah. proud of His Son. I believe yeah. He jumped down off of the throne yeah. and went ye high. Yeah. He done what I told Him to do. Oh. Therefore, it's what, yeah. oh. what created the earth. Oh. Praise yeah. the Lord. Yeah. Praise the Lord forever. He just like us. Right. Good microphones. <laughs> They've endured my preaching and them kids singing. <laughs> we'll get some more this life. <laughs> the Bible said that the veil of the temple was rent. Yeah. That's not what I'm wanting to get to. Here's what I'm wanting to get to. I read in your hearing and you read along with me. He said, command therefore in verse 64 that the sepulcher be made sure till the third day lest these disciples come by night and steal him away and say unto the people he is risen from the dead. So the last arrow shall be worse than the first. And Pilate said unto them, ye have a watch. Go your way and make it as sure as you can. Lord, I tell you what, little did they know, little did they know, a greater, I, I've never been one 
I guess what burnt me out on wrestling and boxing was W-A-Y. Some of you remember that. <laughs> Shirley Love. And, uh, yeah. Gene Madrid and Jan Madrid. If you laugh, you'll show your age. <laughs> but uh, for all you youngins, that was up at Oak Hill, West Virginia, televised by W-A-Y Channel 4 TV. Yeah. The only channel we could get, so therefore we watched it. Oh, yeah. They had Saturday Night Wrestling. Yep. Yes, Lord, I'm telling you what, you talking about, my daddy gets so upset, some of his flock would go up there, <laughs> Boy, he couldn't get them to move in the church house, but they'd get up there, W-A-Y studio, up there at Oak Hill, and they'd hoop, and they'd holler, and they would, they would shout, yeah, and God have mercy, they'd also fight. Yes, sir. Dad said, I'd never get so ashamed in all my life. People ain't never going to get it. But boy, I tell you what, Zach Day was getting ready for a fight like it never taken before. place before. Only one time, as I said, the celebration that the Jews celebrated every year, they celebrated that because life was given to the children of God. Other than that, death had never been defeated. No, sir, death had never been defeated. And little did they know that, listen, they knew something was going to take place. And they had a little bit of doubt. They called him a liar. They called him a blasphemer. But they knew that there was something about this man named Jesus. So listen, we're going to follow him. After three days, we ain't going to worry about him. But for some reason, we feel like we're going to have to watch him for at least three days. Because more time than once, he said, destroy this temple. But in three days, I'll rise it up again. Yes, sir. So, Pilate, I know things is tight, and I know you don't like to pay over time, but for 72 hours, we need to add some extra help on. We need to go down and watch the tomb of Jesus. I know it's for no reason or no effect, but boy, I tell you what, there was not, everybody wasn't pulling out, Zach. Even, listen, Pilate's wife come to him. She said, sweetheart, I never tried to get in your affairs, but in a dream it was revealed to me, take your hands off of this man they called yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Pilate said, boys, make that tune just as sure as you can. They're thieving disciples of his. I don't know why they was worried about the disciples. They'd already proven what they was worth. Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> right in the head. Yeah. I think the man in the right mind wouldn't worry about them bunch of chickens. <laughs> I'd say my daughter. Yeah, I ain't going to waste my time. I want you to go to get every one of them and give them a good whooping. She said, Why, well, Daddy? I said, They're harmless. They're afraid that they're, the disciples is going to come and take Jesus. going to cause an uproar. Yeah. And yeah, we don't need another mess like Moses had, yeah. Pharaoh had. Listen, we don't need that to happen again. We've got a lot of years in between now and then. And listen, we ain't going to cause a mess no more. So they went down there 24 7. There was a guard put around that tomb. And boys, listen, little did they know the devil himself, a greater devil than all the counselors of all the governors, there was a greater demon. Listen, everybody thought it was on the outside, but there was a demon on the inside of that tomb. What are you talking about? I'm talking about that adversary that we got, that enemy. The Bible said, the last enemy that shall be destroyed, he was dead along with everybody else that had ever died. He was sitting, listen, I believe with all of my heart, at the feet of Jesus. He was there to make sure that nothing didn't happen. Bought and Jesus laid there, bought for 72, 71, listen,
and hours and all of a sudden, listen, there was a war that took place. Oh. But they thought he had him defeated. They thought he had him secured. But the power of the Holy Ghost swept through Jesus' body one time more time. And he came forth victorious over death, over hell, and over that grave. Praise oh. God. I'm sure it was heard on the outside. Now the Bible, I don't know what happened. We'll have to find this out. And if any of you know, now they had a band of soldiers round about that tomb. But Mary and Martha came back. They were number one. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I don't know what happened. But they had no power over him. No. They had no power over him. And as they was out there, I'm sure they was a nervous wreck. Sitting outside that tomb. Not here talking. Someone might have got under conviction and said, Thing, think we messed up. You think he really was the son of the most high God. Pilate himself even said after the earthquake quake. The quote ain't a word, is it? <laughs> after the earthquake and the graves burst open and the veil of the temple was rent, Pilate said. Truly, this was the Son of God. Am I right? Yeah. yeah. Huh? Yes. Oh, yeah. Did he say that, Zach? Amen. He said, truly, this was the Son of God. I don't believe he is. But I can see him now, Zach, as, as he was there. And the warfare began to go on. And it might have started in the first hour in that tomb where Jesus was. There was a, a, there was a battle that had to take place a battle that had to be won. And I would say there was a thrashing going on from time to time. And those boys that sit outside that tomb and probably they was acting like they wasn't worried. But I believe they was about like Barabbas was when he was in the jailhouse. I believe they had an ear tuned in to the inside. And listen, there was something. Wasn't it amazing? Wasn't it amazing? Boy, I'll tell you what, just like the atheists today, if they don't believe in God, why do they put up such a fight? If they don't believe that there's some reason, why are they spending all this money, listen, and if they think it's false, why don't they want us to pray in public? And if they think that there's nothing to it, and if there's no power in it, why don't they want their children listening to it? Why? Because it scares them. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. Let me share something with you shared with the church before. They say it took place in Florida. I don't know. But they said the atheists had got together and uh, they filed a petition, a lawsuit. It ended up in federal court. They was angry because the Christians had so many, they thought, so many religious holidays. And they felt like that they was being discriminated against. So they made it into federal court. And they just so happened that they got somewhere that they didn't really like. Yeah. And they got somebody that was a believer. And they stood before that judge. And that judge, listen, uh, and when you take the office of the judge, you can't be biased. You can't take sides. But they, he asked them what their complaint was. They said, now listen, we feel that we've been discriminated against. We feel like that we've been slighted. Said the Christians have all of these holidays and they get all of this recognition and we as believers get none and we have no holiday 
and we request that you issue us and you proclaim a holiday on our behalf as being unbelievers. He said, are you blind? Are you deaf? He said, are you dumb? He said, as long as I can remember, you've had your own holiday and didn't even realize that they said, judge, we don't mean to be disrespectful, but we have no idea what you're talking about. He said, April 1st, said they celebrated your day forever, as long as I can remember. The Bible said, the fool said in his heart, there is no God. But they made this tomb as secure as they could. But on that third and glorious morning, yeah. would I tell you what? All of a sudden, death was defeated. Yes. Death was defeated, and he had lost his power. Yeah. Why? Because Jesus Christ came forth in victory. Yes, he yes. did. Oh, yes. yes. Showing you and I, Zach. That there's life if we desire life. Yes. If we trust Him and trust His ways. Yes. Let's go back to Revelation. John said all of this and Jesus in the last five verses, well, really in six verses, seven verses of the last chapter of this book. Jesus said, Behold, I come quickly. My reward is with me. What? To give to every man what? Oh. Not of works, lest any man should be lost. Yes. <laughs> But he said to give to every man according as his work shall be. Yep. Jesus said, I am Alpha, I'm Omega, the beginning and the end, I'm the first and the last. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates to the city, for without our dogs, sorcerers, whoremongers, murderers, adulterers, and whosoever loveth and maketh a lie. Now Jesus have sent my angel to testify unto you these things in the churches. I am the root. <laughs> yes. I'm the offspring of David. Yes. And I'm the bright yes. the morning star. Yes, <laughs> Amen. Yes. John said in the spirit and the bride say come that him that heareth say come that him that is a thirst come and whosoever will let him come get that song Zach whosoever is what it meaneth me let him take of the water of life what? Freely. Freely. Amen. Yeah. I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book. Any man shall add unto these things. God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life, and out of the holy city, and from the things which are written in this book. He which testifieth these things saith, Surely I come quickly. Even, amen, even so come, Lord Jesus. And what a way to end yes. a wonderful message sent to the church. Yes. He said, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. Amen. The battle's over.
The victory swung. Yes. That's why the church celebrates Easter. Yeah. Reminded me of the little story that we used to love us here as kids. Mommy and read every year at Christmas. It was the night before Christmas. Yeah. All through the house. Yeah. All right. So that's why we celebrate Easter. Yeah. The birth, the death, the burial, and the resurrection. Right. Our Lord and Savior, yeah. Jesus Christ. Amen. Stand if you will. I'm part of that church. Yeah. He died and shed his blood for me. Oh, yes. And because he lives, I You're right. Sing it, church. Page 48. I'm happy, happy today as the sun shines bright. Clouds have been rolled away. sent angels to minister to you had you to look at the outcome had you to see a people that was lost without your Lord had no hope without your shed blood and we praise you for that I don't know the need of the church tonight whatever the need might be Lord if someone feels the need to come to the altar I ask Lord that they would come and Father that you would meet their every need as only you can Father, we praise you. Help us, Lord, as we start this week, this time of celebration, Lord, that we would spend time with you, Lord. We would look back as Jesus reminded his disciples that day at the Last Supper of the time and the reason that they celebrated the Passover, the Feast of the Passover. God, help us to remind ourselves and our people, oh, this was redemption for us. This was a time of redemption. And Father, it's a time to be joyful. It's a time, Lord, to be happy. And Lord, count our many blessings. So Lord, you bless us only you can. And help us, Lord. Father, that we would do just exactly what you would have us to do. For it's in your name we pray. Last verse. Oh, what wonderful love, oh, what grace divine that Jesus should die for me. I was lost in sin for the world I hide, but now I am set free. So
make kind of proud. How about you? Yeah. 